You guys are live. Live? Okay, I just told people too. What? We're live? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. How are you? How are you guys? Um, Michelle? This is JPS right here. James Patrick Stewart. That's right, Michelle Stafford. Three first names. People don't know that your middle name is Patrick also. They don't know that. Now you know. Mm-hmm. Michelle Patrick Stafford. Very Irish. Yeah. Yeah. Irish. Yeah. Good, Are you good, Irish? Good, good You're English. Name. My mother's from Belfast. Oh, okay. Which explains nothing because that's not her name. Oh, wait a second. Mm -hmm. So your father's full on English and right. your your mother is Irish. Isn't that funny? My dad's from the Lake District. He's born where Beatrix Potter wrote all her books. Wow. My father's name is David Stewart Chadwick. But he was a rock star in the 60s, and he decided that David, David Chadwick was not a rock star name. Mm. So he went to Chad Stewart, ended up in a band called Chad and Jeremy. Yes. Now I'm the first yeah. Stewart, naturally born. But it's all, wow. it's all did, So he legally changed this. He did, yeah. Wow. And now my kids, my teenage children, are like, Dad, we should really change it back to Chadwick. You should. We should. I, I think it'll skip the generation. Because that's your family tree. Yeah. Well, I'm mostly smoke and mirrors, so I might as well see where Stewart takes me, but they'll probably go back to Chadwick. And Stafford, what is that? That's some sort of... English. It is. I knew it, yeah. right? Because Stafford is a very British sounding Yeah, name. yeah. It's English. But, mm -hmm. um, little known fact, actually, no, it's a... Um, is uh, that you were born in? No, England? my when my ancestors came over from a great great grandfather came over from Poland, because um, uh, my dad is my dad is a hundred percent Polish, wow. although he at one point did not like to admit it because mm. he was embarrassed. Mm. Um, that Back don't, in the no 70s, judgment, when no there was judgment, this, in the seventies there, you know, there was this big uh, wave of Polish jokes. I remember. Yeah, the Polish jokes, you yeah. know, and so he. So we're Stafford, and he has like the Stafford family crest on the wall, and I'm like, yo, you know we're not Staffords. Mm -mm. Yeah, you know. You guys, we've got some questions. Well, wait a second. I'm we're not in the done middle talking. of a conversation. <laughs> Do you mind? We're talking here. Uh, no, so anyway, the real family name is Stroponiak. One more time. <laughs> Stroponiak. Okay, Stroponiak. Hey. Stroponiak. So, yeah, there's Stroponiak. a thing that you got to do with it. Like, it's because it's S. Z Z C Z. Sure. It's like a certain. It means and that means that you have to go like that. Sure. Strubanya. Sure. My favorite cab driver ever in my neighborhood in New York was the same name. I am fifty percent Polish. Which which part? Are we ready for questions? Let's hear it. Mary Mullenbach wants to know who your favorite coworker is. Yeah, James Patrick right Stewart. Here. Michelle Strabonyka. I mean, seriously, do you think we're going to say anyone else? Michelle Strabonyka. I like both the English and the <laughs> I Polish I should change it back. You should. Have you noticed there's like this wave of great yeah, actors and actresses with that have like, like these un yeah, completely unpronounceable names? I know. Like the, the girl from uh, Lady, Lady Bird. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sorry? Sersha. Sersha? Yeah. Okay. Sersha. She's, Sersha. she's uh, Irish, right? Yes, she's yeah. very Irish. Very, very Irish, Irish, yeah. Sounds like Bono's little girl, yeah. Sure, I, I, don't, I can't speak Irish. My mother can, because she's from Belfast. Weird how this conversation just went full circle. Okay. Is there another question, yeah, Jason? James Moya would like to know, I don't know if you guys would know this or not, but will Jason ever find out that AJ was killed by Sonny? Probably. Wouldn't that be great if we just like... Said, if we answered other people's answer storyline right questions. Yeah. I don't, that's what I'm here for. It I'm here will. for you folks. And I'm here happens. for the fans. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I don't need to talk about myself. I don't want to, the, in fact. You know the irony Look is? Look at my swell bottle. Okay. <laughs> Is that? Did you, is this a Christmas gift to myself? And isn't that great when you go Christmas shopping? I shop. Yeah, I, I had that yesterday. I went to Barney's. I went shopping, and I found a four hundred dollars pair of sunglasses. For yourself. For me. <laughs> Fantastic. And then of course I'm driving home, just like, <coughs> what a jerk. Are you okay? <coughs> Maybe you should drink some more of that. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, so the answer to that question is is that we don't. Okay. I, I don't know. And if I did know, I'd, I, I would because say we've been in daytime mm -hmm. uh, for many years. You off and on, lots of prime time for you, lots of movies. Meryl Streep work with Meryl Streep over here. How much do you um, love I this think one? that I think that um, that will happen eventually. It's a good story to tell. It's inevitable. That will unfold. It's inevitable. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. James Libby Hutchinson Williams. Hi, uh, Libby. She says hello from Sacktown. I think in Sacramento, maybe. Um, she wants to know how many children do you have? I have two children. That you know of. That I know of. <laughs> wow, is Sorry. this the day and age to be Sorry. talking like that? Oh, no, we can't talk about that. I think we maybe, can't no. Uh, um, I, no. I have two children. I have a 15-year-old boy, and I have a tw he just turned 12 this weekend. We went and we played paintball. 
with five of his best friends ever. They thought they were SEAL Team Six. It was mm -hmm. fantastic. And of course, you know, they're spoiled rotten. My oldest one is a musician. He he's a guitar player, so he just collects guitars. So I think he wants a Stratocaster for oh, Christmas. Nice. Yeah, I know. The little one is just like you could give him. You uh, seriously, you could give him like a you could give him like a like a plush doll. He'd be like, Dad, you're so good to me, oh. right? Oh. Right. A plush doll, really? Reminds me. What a Vulcan maybe, maybe a maybe a swell bottle. So, yeah. But he's just so appreciative. Oh my God! So is there somebody you want to? Is there anybody you want to shower so gifts upon more than that, somebody yeah, who's that appreciative? Yeah, I know. Absolutely. Gratitude and the attitude, folks. Sacktown. Um, Janet Moskowitz. Um, it says Miss Stafford, when are you gonna go fill us on Nell? Thought it was going to happen yesterday. Waiting for it. Go fill us who's on Nell. Who's fill us? I don't know. Maybe a cra it sounds like a crazy person. It's a great from verb. Mm. Go fill us. Don't go fill us. I'm um, Nell. Uh, you guys had the big metro court running the other day. Oh, is that what happened? Out, we found out she was pregnant. That's right. That's right. And you said I, she was worse than what Carly said she was. Was Was Nina mean? Not you, Nina. We have a Nina who were, who's in the room right now. Um, let's see what what happens with Nell. I kind of like this Nell. Mm. I really do. How great was that scene? Um, but I don't. I don't. It, I don't know what's going to happen with that. I think that um, uh, there's going to be some some crazy shit coming up. Oh, I can't say that word. Come some up. crazy yeah, stuff wow. coming up, girl. I'm shocked. And I appalled. think that that Nina's Nina's going to show some teeth. Don't you worry, honey. Nina's going to show some teeth. You did when when Nell tried to throw your husband under the bus in your office, and you turned on her. I loved that. You stood up for your. Yeah, mom. she was. Well, like she also was smart. It was smart because Nina was looking a little not that smart. Yeah. You know? And, really? And, yeah. I always thought you looked smart. Well, because the portrayer is brilliant. I mean. Got it. <laughs> I like how we have glass walls everywhere and there's a giant sign that says, we're filming. Stay out. <laughs> Please stay out. Like no one would know. <laughs> but everything's glass here. <laughs> Um, Marla Bennett would like to know if you guys have a favorite episode between the both of you. Yeah. I'm curious. Well, I know what yours is. Yours is. Hey, you're, believe it or not, it's probably one that we have clothes on. Which one? Which one's a your favorite? A favorite episode. You do know what my favorite is. Um, I don't know. Oh, I love the one. Let's hear JP. I, well, you you know because you've seen it a million times. But, but I love the one where where Val is, is is confessing his abnormality and how broken he was not only emotionally but physically, and you turn right around and just beam love. Yeah, upon she him. just loves him. And she it, loves him so it's much. It's probably like I just I, what I love about that scene is it's just that moment, the first moment you realize that it's the first time that he'd ever been honest ever since he was a baby. And he got loved for it, and it was, it's just, I think it's really touching. Oh, you, you us so, girls. You're so wonderful. In us scene. girls, right? I mean, we love it when our man is very honest and um, uh, uh, forthcoming with us and tells us uh, something real. Because mm -hmm. it seldom happens. Honesty is such a it seldom happens. What about you? What's your favorite? Do you have I don't, I don't. She's not I aware of anything we've done together. I don't have a favorite. Just I mean, I like, I like them all. Be quiet, Crystal. Be quiet. You should explain who Crystal is. Crystals are coming through the micro, coming through the speakers right now, saying what we're doing. She's our, like Crystal our knows that we're up here. Director. She's not going to keep on calling for us, right? She knows where it's up on here. the schedule. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, it, everyone knows. <laughs> everyone's aware. So a lot of people are asking if you guys have any special traditions for the holidays. What um, you might be, you do. Might be doing over the break. You pole, yeah. You poles have a lot of traditions. Some sort we, of fish and pierogies. <laughs> we make pierogies. pierogies. <laughs> um, I'm very proud of being Polish. We're good people. Polish people are, when I meet someone Polish and, and I say, oh, I'm 50% Polish, like they literally bring me into their house. Nice. They bring me and they make me food. Yeah. They they're, they, they're the warmest, most yeah, loving people. Sure. They used to bring you into and their country. Yeah. They were very welcoming. I would I'd love to go to Poland. And um, so anyway... Uh, traditions. I, hmm, uh, shoot, we have that, I have that freaking elf on the shelf. We have that too. I hate it. Oh no, did no, I move I, the I elf? No, I despise this thing. Did you move the elf last night? 
No. Ah! My daughter came to the kitchen and didn't see it. I, I was like, there's the a elf. fucking elf. The, the, the freaking elf. I'm the freaking useless. Elf. I'm the worst and, and then she, I went, I had to go upstairs and get baby Jay. And I moved the elf. And she came down. She's like, the elf is gone. I'm like, you know, I keep on missing it. And she's like, something's wrong. The funniest thing is Jameson, we were in the living room. My parents, my family was there. We didn't, they didn't know about the elf. Because when you touch this elf thing, the magic goes away, apparently. And uh, Jameson comes in and he's Oh no! <laughs> well, lucky he's he young. His hand, his hand, I'm like, she's like, ah! she caught it. She no, she happy. was like freaking oh, out. No. It was, it was actually very funny. My parents were like, what the hell? But um, a little Bijan uh, uh, Flint got a hold. Oh, of Oh jeez! Yeah, oh no! That's thing. her. Because Colin saw that. Oh so. yeah. So he's still, he's still. Well, he's he likes the ritual of it. He doesn't want to give up the ritual. He's okay. well aware who's doing it. Yeah. But he'll be bummed that we didn't make the effort to make it. Oh, out. God, I oh, love that. Yeah, yeah. See, my daughter, I was talking about this last night. You know, Santa's still alive and well in our house. Santa's still alive and well. So, traditions, I'm up until God knows what time, usually 2 33 in the morning, um, putting out Santa's gifts. I hope no mm. little kid is watching this. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm putting out Santa's gifts. Um, As a tradition. Oh, and then also we make a, um, a for Christmas, you, we usually make this dish. It's called pon con chupe, and it's a dish from Honduras. And it's uh, we cook the turkey in these spicy spices. Spices from, we got this recipe from these friends of ours who are from Honduras. And, um, and we, that's how we make our turkey. And we put it in this bread with this, uh, Really spicy coleslaw. It's amazing. That's a, that's a t tradition of my family. I need that. Yeah, it's I'm Michelle knows I have any. I like that, spicy. That's probably why she said that. I'm a big fan of spicy. Uh, Libby from Sacramento said, "Geez, sorry I asked." <laughs> uh, <laughs> Melissa, <laughs> wait, you, what, what is your What's tradition? Your the elf. No, uh, elf is good. We'll go with elf. The elf. Melissa Timmons would like to know. She says she loves that Valentine is working with Anna to get to Cassandra and. Um, Ava would like to know if that work with her will make Nina jealous. It's like a combo question. Um, yeah, it probably will, but I don't think we're there. We're uh, that's the main part of the story, like it was before. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, listen, girls, you want your man, you know, working with the girl that he he was pining over for years. Do we want that? Really? We want our man to be hanging out with the woman that he pined over? Not really. We really don't. I mean, no. No. Nor do I. Yeah. No. No. Nor do I feel a hundred percent comfortable around her. So. Exactly. Probably just as well. <laughs> Susan Aparellis <laughs> would like to know if Susan you can trade roles with another another actor for a week. Which role? Or actor I think we should choose? do that. Susan can you pitch that, Jason? I'll do my best. Susan, would would you guys like that if we all like switched characters? I'd be, yeah, I'd be. and there'd be a thing like above our head, so you'd all know who it was, yeah. who it was supposed to be. That would be so, 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 so much fun. I'd, I'd have I to hope be someone from Franco. from I'd be Franco. I, is Frank watching us? Hey, would you Frank be? Valentini. I was in production meeting. Oh, okay. I'd be. I I just answered the question. Who's watching this from ABC? I think the fans would love that. Tell me if anybody's going. Yeah, fun. You said Franco. Who would you I would switch go with? You, you'd go with Franco. I would have to be Franco. Um, yeah, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't switch you to that. I would switch you to a character oh, okay. that First, was opposite. You, you pick, and then I'll choose somebody for you. But if we could switch characters, who would it be? I don't know. I like. I like Nina. I'd be Anna. I'd probably be Anna. Anna's pretty bad. Yeah, I'd be. I'd be Anna. You'd be a badass. Or guy. I'd be. Um, I'd be Jordan. Oh, I know Jordan. You're a badass. You like yeah. it? You like, okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A lot of guns. I choose Anna for you too, by the way. Thank you, thank you. How's your English accent? Yes, I I I, I talk like this. Johnny good. I talk like this, like I'm like I'm Cockney. Yeah. I'm from London. Yeah, yeah. You, so this is your Anna. No, I'm Franco. <laughs> mm. Don't do that. He's not like that. No. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, I would I would do like a bad English accent. That would be hilarious. <laughs> like like Dick Van Dyke like from Mary Poppins. Yeah, totally. Hello, Governor. <laughs> You're under arrest, Governor. Ch I'm a cockney chimney sweep in the daytime, copper at night. Ugh. Sorry, go ahead. 
a lot of people are, are asking. Do they, they like my idea? <laughs> they have their own ideas. They, 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 they want to see, see a baby from Valentina and Nina. Do we think maybe babies? No, are you guys. Her eggs are dust. I mean, I think we already, I think we already uh, saw that her eggs are dust. There are lots of other right. options for. Yeah, sure. Oh, doesn't mean we should stop there. trying. Adoption. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> mean we There's stop right. Trying. That's right. There's adoption. Yeah. Do you guys want to see an adoption story? I don't know if you want to see that. I'm not sure if you want to see that. I mean, if it's a super lot of people interesting. want you to steal Nell's baby. I want to adopt people a full-grown child and have it be played by James Franco. <laughs> and James um, Franco could play our baby. That's okay. what I want. All right. <laughs> um. I'm not breastfeeding. James, you hear me out there? Oh my gosh, I can't say that. What? I said I'm not breastfeeding. Is that no. harassment? Thanks I for throwing the word breast out I think there. I, harassed I am myself. uncomfortable. I now think, oh gosh, I can't even yeah. say that. A lot of people want you Stop. to take Nell's baby. Um, you wow. know what? I'll tell you something. A lot of people want that? not Nina to take Nell's baby. Oh. This is a deal. This is a deal. Oh I th and I appreciate those thoughts, actually. I appreciate those thoughts. But I think like we've that Nina has come and gone. Like we've seen that Nina, the cutting babies out of people. Yeah, stealing babies and stuff like that. Like, we, you know, like she has to go full fledged crazy from here on out to do something like that. She has to be full fledged crazy, or she has to be totally sane. But I don't like saying crazy, saying crazy, because then it's like, okay, wait, what are you? So we gotta like decide. And so what we're doing right now is like Nina's being a bit of a badass, and I like that. She's showing teeth, and I like that, and. Um, I like, I like Nina. <laughs> I wish she was my friend. Mm. Um, here's one. Ruth um, would like to know, if you have a favorite actor that you would like to see do a cameo on General Hospital? As Ruth, as I said, I would like James Franco to play the child of Nina and Valentine. I if would you like hear me. any man who's hot, any man who's super hot. The, uh, who? Who do you like? Um, I don't... I don't, there's nobody. Oh, nobody's hot? That's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> have you reached that point in your life? Yeah, nobody really does it for me. Where's the soup? It's so weird because I have a boyfriend, so I feel really weird. So maybe your boyfriend. No, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> she swears like a sailor, I swear to God. I didn't say it. You no, no. I think I'd like to. I'd like to. I'd like to have Rick Springfield come back. No, I because I learned. Oh to play yeah. Guitar. I learned to play guitar. To yeah, Rick Springfield. Jesse. I want him back too. Yeah, it'd be good. Good to have. Michael I Knight. was in love with him. You're right. I was in love Michael with him as a young, nice. as Michael a youngster. Knight. I was Michael. in love with him. Because you know, Rick. I watched General Hospital as a youngster, and Rick Springfield lived up the street from me, and I used to stalk his house. Really? Yeah. Really? And one day we were driving by, and it was when I wasn't, and I just kind of looked over, and he was going. He was in his bathroom getting the newspaper on his front lawn. What? And I was like. <gasps> <laughs> I listen. If, if if social media would have been uh, around when I was young, I, I would be on it all the time. I would have been on it all the time, all the time. I was fourteen. I had a pair of uh, parachute pants because of Rick Springfield. Of yeah, I did because of Rick Springfield. <gasps> a girl that I really loved oh took God. me to a, a, a Rick Springfield concert at the Universal Amphitheater. Tickets were like eight dollars a piece. <laughs> oh my gosh! You know what? I I was an usher and he performed there. Where at Universal? Yeah. What? And I was an usher. I was an usher wow. at Universal when I was seventeen. No way. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if you were there. Oh, I wonder. And I remember he was playing, and all the girls were screaming. Like I remember yeah, just like were, going home, and it was like zzz. live oh, and kicking from the Universal Amphitheater, Rick Springfield. Yeah, one time Fanola says to me, "I kissed him," and I instinctively just go, "Sweet," and I'm like, "Oh, oh God." Boy, I wish I could yeah. take that one back. It's so weird. I went to a party, and he was really Rick is very good friends with Doug Davidson on General Hospital, right? Mm -hmm. On Young and the Restless. Whoop, sorry. And um, and I went to a party and Rick walked in. I was like, because that was like, he was the love of my life. I used to like dream of marrying him when I was little. Aww. That's all. That's so funny. <laughs> a lot of people I think were impressed with your Nurses Ball performance, James, because um, Anne asked, can you sing for us? It would make her Christmas. Oh, okay, God. And Robert wants to know if you like the song Despacito. Desperado. Desperado. No, 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 no. Des Despacito, Despacito is how oh, they say it in Honduras. 
Despacito. Despacito. I dance uh, to that song with my kids. The joke is... Uh, it's Justin Bieber and some really great Latin dudes. Who I don't know. Justin's, Justin's pretty good. He's amazing. Uh, I'm a huge fan. You done? No. Desperado no. is... Do you, know, do you get the reference? I was on an episode of Seinfeld. Oh, yes! And okay! Every time I heard Oh, Simon, so he said Despacito. So oh. Every time I heard oh, the song Oh, yeah, I saw that. No, it was great. I saw that. He had like a seizure. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And, uh, 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 let's see. Um, did somebody want me to sing? Just sing right, right now. Am I that yes. much of an out-and-out out war that I'll just like, like a little performing monkey? Hey, 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 okay, then don't yeah. do it. Don't uh, do it. No, you I'm just trying to think of a song. I would think of a song. Um... Happy uh, birthday. Hey, hobo man. Hey, dapper Dan. You both got your style. But, brother, you're never fully dressed without a smile. Yay. So I told you I could sing. You I can call. sing, too. Let's hear you. Uh, my voice is bad because I was sick. So, not at this, so not at this moment. Interesting. Moving on. This is actually a story question. Um, Magdalia wants to know if you're excited to see Faze on. Come back to is Faison coming back? back? You didn't know that? I didn't know that. I don't his know. Daughter is he? His daughter was on this past week. Who's his daughter? Um, Britt. Oh, she's his legit daughter. Yes. That's right. Is he coming? I don't. I mean, I don't know that information. Sonny and Jason are on the hunt for him right now. They're on the hunt for Faison. Yes. He's like. I was asking somebody about him. I said, would it be fair to to say like he's like Charles Manson? And they said yes. He's like that. That that creepy Faison, not the actor. You know what's interesting is is that the script of each episode, like, and sometimes we do two, three episodes a day. The script can be that thick. So if you've got that much material daily to look it's at, it's never that thick. Well, I one time I forgot my script. I had to go through that much material to get oh. get to it. Yeah. So so the idea of delivering us the full script every day, even if we're not involved, it just doesn't happen. We never we, get it. We never yeah. know. We so legit never know. Yeah, so yeah. there's a lot of storylines that we're not necessarily up to speed with. Sorry, so I'm sorry. We're like the bad. You know, that's yes. a bit of a sorry. We ruined Christmas on that. But. Well, let's here. This is a good. I think a good question to end on. Are we um, gonna end? We are. I really like to talk to the folks. Then almost a half an hour. I like to talk to the folks. Um, and they gotta go watch the show. And Nina yeah, go watch the show. show. Um, so Nina this is the last question. Show. Linda Mayo asks: When you are in your fans in public, do they tend to think in real life that your personalities are like your characters on the show? They, they get confused. No, I think that people get it now because now uh, social media has where our us as people are more prevalent to. So that does not happen. Mm -hmm. That does not happen to me. But when social media was not around and I played roles, like people thought that I was. They expect you to be that they way. They expect me to be that way. That I didn't like that too much because I wasn't that way. That's funny, yeah. I never made that connection because when I was on All My Children, I had a, I was a character that like attempted to rape you know, yeah, Kari yeah. Ripa, mm -hmm. and I had a woman throw a can at me one time at, a, at a, an Apple supermarket. So uh, I, clearly, it was lack of Facebook that was putting my life in danger. Lucky we're all Facebook safe today. Life. Lucky was Facebook no, saved but it's our like lives. Gals who follow me on Instagram, you know, I post stuff about my kid. They're like, it, they're, it's really sweet because they're like, Oh, they consider me part of their family, you some know, of them. You know who follows you on Instagram who would die if I told you? Who? My wife. I know, I follow her too. My wife loves you. Yeah, I follow her as well. I, he's a great wife, by the way. I, you know, and I'll tell you something about me. When I judge people by their mates that they choose, yeah. I really do. If I meet someone, I really like them, and then they have a horrible partner or a horrible mate, I'm like, oh. Like, why are they choosing someone so bad, right? It like affects me, like, oh. And, but when they have a great one, it makes me even love them more. Like, I love it when I work with guys who have a great wife. And I have Smart a great, wife. I have a great wife. She has wife. a great wife. He, he has a great wife. <laughs> and she's really smart and strong and cool, so. Can we right. well, this, tell this people works. to go watch the show, because it's on right now. And You're gonna, <laughs> um, gonna wrap up. yeah, go watch the show. Bye. Thank you so much Watch for spending some time with us. Watch the show. See you around.